Welcome to Norway. Welcome to Central Station in Oslo, Norway. And hopefully this little room that we're in on the train tracks isn't too echoey. It smells like smoke in here. <laughs> it says no smoking outside. It's funky. Here, let's go back out to the tracks. Let's get some fresh air. All right, so I've been in Oslo for about a week now. I was sent out here for my company. We have an office in Oslo and I'm trying to recruit people here. So if you're a software engineer and want to come to Oslo and work for my awesome company, let me know. So I arrived yesterday and the weather, unfortunately, that came with me has been rainy. It's not raining right now, actually. Yeah, it just stopped. But it's been raining all day and we wanted to show you around Oslo today, but because of the rain, we're not. We're not showing you around. You're just gonna have to see some B-roll that I took over the last couple days, and we're gonna give you our first impressions of Norway and Oslo. Oslo is the capital of Norway. There is a population of about a million people here, the biggest city in Norway, and uh, Norway as a whole has about five million population. So we're trying to kill some time. We're waiting for our train to head over to Bergen. And uh, we found this little place. Maybe you want to call it a little food market. I don't know. But uh, you have some options, uh, some restaurants, some bars, and candy places. Seems pretty cool. We may get some sushi in a second. Which one? Ooh, so many choices. That one looks good. Let's try this one. So as I mentioned earlier, I have been here for about a week before Mark showed up, so I've been kind of solo traveling, if you want to call it that. Um, also, or Norway in general is very easy to travel. They speak Norwegian, and their signs will be in Norwegian, but everyone does speak English. We actually met with a family friend earlier today, and she was saying that they start learning English at like the age of four or something like this. It's just very young. So. She didn't even have um, an accent. Her family friend had. Um, done six months of study abroad in Minnesota. Yeah. So she actually had like a Minnesota. 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 <laughs> I don't know if that's what it is, but it's super easy. Everyone has been so nice, so helpful. Yesterday, Amanda was at a women in tech event. So uh, the main driver of me coming here was to attend the women in tech event. My company was sponsoring one of the sponsors of this event, just supporting the conference or workshop to help women in tech learn um, <laughs> software development and machine learning, you know, coding these things. Just yeah. a PSA, if you want to have job security, make a lot of money, <laughs> and happen to be a female, get into coding or software engineering, software development, yeah. any of that stuff, and you'll be balling. Baller, everyone will watch you. Anyway, so while Amanda was at this women in tech event, I went out on my own and I explored Oslo. You were solo um, traveling. I was solo, <laughs> dolo the solo. I don't know what that means. Um, I started off down by the water at this shopping area dock. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. A lot of these statues, they're just all over the city. There's one park in particular, Froggen. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. He just has a ton of pieces and he actually has this one tall monolith that is like 20 or 30 meters high. It's essentially just a bunch of bodies kind of intertwined. Anyway, so yesterday, yeah, I went down by the water. Um, down there's a bunch of restaurants. And then in the middle, there's a bunch of ships that do a bunch of tours of like the fjords. So that's one of the big tourist attractions here in Norway. And further to the left, which is, I guess, east, there is a fortress. That fortress was played a big part in World War against the Germans. They had a bunch of cannons and they shot the German ships. I worked my way over to more of the city center area and there was a ton of shopping. Actually, one of the first things I noticed in Oslo is it wasn't that busy. There weren't a ton of people. And then as soon as I hit this shopping center area, there was just Bang. tons of people. It looked like a New York City street. The city is clean, organized. There's not like a lot of garbage. Yeah. There's not any garbage, actually. I didn't really see any garbage. Yeah, I was just talking to my colleague about this, and they were just saying because it's very expensive to live in Norway. The taxes are very high, and so the people feel as though they really are paying and investing in their 
surroundings, um, so they want to take care of it, and I really wish that we did the same. Another thing about this city is it's very walkable. We probably miss a lot of the outskirts of the city, but I mean, as far as city center, it's easy to get around. There's a lot to do. So within our like 15 minute walking area, there was the opera house, a palace, the king and queen's palace, which is cool. You can go up there and they actually live there. They have a guard and everything out front. There's no like gates. It's really weird and know, feels just, a little wrong that you're so close to the royal palace. I know, palace. Like, I can see in the windows. <laughs> yeah. So they have a palace, they have a fortress, um, they have a bunch of museums, they have that shopping center. Um, all of that is just like really centralized. Yeah, walkable. Yeah. And, and most people walk here as well because the taxis are so expensive. That actually is way more expensive than How much was our Uber? Our Uber was like 20 bucks. Okay, so that's expensive because the Uber yeah. ride was like five minutes. Yeah, okay. six minutes. But the Uber picked us up in an S-Class Mercedes. <laughs> That was, was really nice. balling. They had bucket seats in the back. It had like seat adjusters, butt warmers, yeah. all of that. I was like, dang. So you basically only have an option for like the black car in Uber. Oh yeah, they're not doing Uber no. Saver, Uber Pool. <laughs> no, it's no, not no. Happening here. But it's the same price as a taxi, and the taxis are not great. So I would recommend actually taking an Uber. Better experience. <laughs> so um, when we were hanging out with our friend here, that's from Oslo. She, the, the Minnesotan one, Celia. Thank you very much for your recommendations. Yes. And Arvid, thank you for your hospitality. And lunch. It was great and we loved learning about the Norwegian culture. And we'll go into that in a second. Um, but quickly, we just want to give you guys some recommendations that she gave us. I need you to bear with my pronunciation because I have no idea <laughs> how to say these words, but we'll, spell it. we'll put them in the descriptions. So if you do find yourself in Oslo, go to these places. So Oslo. Asbanaholland. So this place is supposed to have a lot of restaurants and shops and it's located at the train station. Where um, we are now. Where we are now, but we d I'm not sure. Maybe we're in Asbanaholland. <laughs> I think this would be it because this is like maybe. a lot of yeah. cool little shops and restaurants. So next, she said if you like wine, go to Territoriet and that's in Grunerlaka. If you like ramen, she recommended Koi Ramen located in city center and it's perfect for a rainy night which is exactly what we've been having the last couple of days. Uh, the last one is a short walk away from the ramen spot. It is called Tilt, where you can play shuffleboard. Oh, mm -hmm. shuffleboard or arcade, uh, arcade games. Keeps the fun. Keeps, keeps. See, told you she sounds like a Kiwi. Thank you very much for those recommendations. Hopefully they're helpful for you. One of the places that we did like, we went to last night is the Oslo Food Market. Give me some tacos we actually found filipino food i would rate it on a scale of 10 like a six it wasn't high, but yeah, yeah okay. it wasn't my favorite i guess i just didn't expect to run into filipino food they also have really good mexican tacos and they're pretty legit i was shocked when i had those beer recommendation aas a-a-s-s a-a-s-s yes. it's a light pilsner and then also frindenlung yes this Frienden, one's my favorite frindenlung and there's actually one more cool place that Mark didn't get to check out, um, but it is kind of like a moonshine bar. It's called Himcock. It's like more of a mixology, like they make their own liqueurs there, and uh, it's pretty cool, nice vibes. This is what she was kind doing like before Brooklyn. I came. She got to go out and do all this stuff, fun <laughs> stuff, and I was just chilling in Brooklyn Aww. working. Cool. We'll quickly run you guys down our itinerary. We don't know how it's going to work out yet. It's pretty lofty. We're doing a lot in a little bit of time. We just booked our tickets yesterday, so it shows you how prepared we are. So we're going to Bergen tonight. We're catching the overnight train, and it is $200. It's kind of a bit pricey. The way we justify that is it's, it's an overnight train, so we don't have to pay for a hotel. We'll sleep on the train. The train does have um, sleeper cars, but they were already sold out, so we're just going to be sleeping, sitting up. I'm not that picky though. We're, we're sitting together, so that's nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. And maybe they're cheaper if you're not, if you didn't buy them last minute. <laughs> we'll get to Bergen tomorrow morning at seven, and the forecast is horrible. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> We've been warned it's gonna rain. Two days there. Two days in Bergen. Yep. We're then we take a night. 
plane flight to Tromso, Tromza. Tromza. And we arrive in Tromza at 11 p.m. I'm actually kind of excited for this because it is a night flight. There is a possibility we will see the Northern Lights from the plane. Wish us luck. And then we are going to an Airbnb we booked about four hours south. We're gonna drive there in a rental car, explore the fjord lands. And this Airbnb Amanda found I'm so excited. You guys have to make sure yeah. you come back for our next videos yeah. if you want to see the Airbnb. We're not going to tell you all yet. You have to come back to see it. You'll but be jealous, though. I'm hoping they're jealous. I'm hoping it's sure. as good as it looks. I know. I know. Me too. I'm nervous. Well, it's just going to be like, <laughs> bunk. And we'll be flying back to New York on um, Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. I know this video's been long. Sorry, guys. It's dragging. But if you made it this far, then you might as well stick around. Um, we're just going to give you a quick update what's been going on with us mm -hmm. because things have been, a lot of things have changed in the city. Um, we haven't been doing as much content, but we're on a roll. We've hit four weeks in a row. Every Wednesday, keep coming back on Wednesdays. But I think it'll be more consistent because there's been a, like a little change. Major change. Well, so Amanda, her job, Amanda's just killing it in her job. Look at this blog article she wrote. It's down Aww. in the description. Yes. I'm so proud. Yeah, she's Aww. killing it. I, I'm, I'm trying. Yes. Um. She's recruitment marketing queen. <laughs> So the really cool thing is while we were tra traveling for you know 18 months, I picked up a lot of skills on the vid in the video department thanks to Mr. Denisha here. He taught me a lot, and um, I was able to you know really create engaging videos and content for my company and recruiting and like highlighting how awesome our culture is, and that you know makes my job easier in at the end of the day because people see those videos and they want to work at TapAd, and that's what I'm trying to get see, people look, to do. See, look, look, Amanda's leveraging those social media skills, and people are scared. They're like, if I travel, I won't be able to get a job, or what's going to happen? Yeah. But, I mean, if you do it right, then you can take your experience and turn it into something really positive, because yeah. not only are you using your skills, but one thing for us, if we meet anyone that's been from any of the countries we've been to, we connect. Yeah. It's so easy because you can, like. like even today, just, um, Celia, she went and traveled in New Zealand. Her boyfriend's oh, yeah. from New Zealand. And they went on a, in a camper van and we started talking about all these places and, you yeah, know. It's just like instant connection. Jumping, in, jumping from bridges into water and. Yeah, next thing you yeah. know, you're in Norway having lunch, <laughs> you know. And then I am a physical therapist, but I've recently quit at the company I was working at. I'm, I'm not treating in the clinic anymore, but I'm still working for the company doing videos and photos. So I also have turned Leveraged. the skills that we learned while traveling into something that I can apply to our, our daily lives in New York. And it's something that I really enjoy doing. I'll still treat because I have to keep my skills up. I just think it's so cool that you know, something like this turned into, you know, more of a... Well, it was like a hobby that really started as nothing. And because of you guys and, you know, like your positive feedback and, yeah. and you just coming back and supporting us, that really kind of kept us going. Yeah. Because just with like this, I don't know, this thing, it's really a labor of love. And I know we've said it before, but you know it's just not like it's something that's supporting us right it's just something that we do well it's something i make amanda do <laughs> because yes. i enjoy doing it amanda amanda i think she's on the fence. <laughs> what i'm trying to say is that it's still something that i love doing like within recruiting i love recruiting but now having like this added piece to it and it's really something that i've created myself like no one told me to that's do these good. things i really just took the initiative and i had this experience with social media and and videography if you want to call it that and you know I, I took that and I turned it into a value add to my role is that yeah, the right way skills. to say it? I don't you know but um, I really enjoy it and I love going to work every day and so yeah the thing yeah. I was always like I used to be a bit of a nag on Amanda I was like come on be more creative like think of <laughs> things to do yeah. and now she's at work and she's the one that's like his creativity coming up with these ideas it just comes to me i don't know it's just like boom look <laughs> so creative yeah and it's awesome okay so i think that's enough of us rambling ramble, ramble, ramble. Um, all right don't forget to like comment let us know if you plan to come to bergen or bergen or oslo or norway or if you've seen the northern lights <laughs> let us know below and don't forget to subscribe say something that's yeah. it say something. <laughs> just talk to us Okay, and uh, we'll see you 
in the next video. Bye! So we're walking down the street, notice people with torches, and then notice that they're wearing some colonial costumes with masks. No idea what's happening. They're just